Hey Lancers, my name is Jasmine Dale and I'm the Vice President Student Life here at the UWSA and I welcome you all to the UWSA Awards virtual presentation. During this live stream, feel free to interact with other viewers in the chat. We're happy to be able to have the opportunity to commemorate not only those who have put in the effort and time into helping the UWSA continue to serve students, but also those who have made the University of Windsor experience better for all. It's undeniable that this year has been a tough one for all students as we adapted to finding a new way of life in a virtual setting. Despite the challenges, you have all done your best to make the most out of the situation, and we applaud you for your strength. This year, we've had the honor of getting to work with many student leaders here at U Windsor. Our many volunteers and coordinators at our service centers have taught us how we can better advocate for students and also how we can ensure the UWSA is being as equitable of a space as it can be. They've worked hard this year by arranging multiple giveaways to cheer students up, putting together virtual webinars with guests to help educate students on various topics and so much more. Our work study students have worked alongside our executive team and full-time staff have been a tremendous help to us as they helped us keep organized and efficient as possible. We'd also like to thank our service coordinators who rose up to the challenge of virtual programming and they were able to keep our students engaged throughout the year. You've managed teams of volunteers and showed leadership skills that will always be highlights of UWSA history. To all of those who have made the UWSA a better place, I'd like to extend a heartfelt thank you. I'd now like to turn the mic to our UWSA president, Herman Dale, to give a few words. Thanks so much for the introduction, Jasleen. Hello, Lancers, and first of all, congrats on finishing final exams. I want to thank you all again for tuning in today, and I want to thank you all for the year it's been. Um, it has been a brutally difficult year, to say the least. Uh, the effects of the pandemic and studying working from home, the recognition of systemic racism around us in the community, and the general uncertainty that lies in the future and what things will look like, forget September, come this summer, uh, have all been very difficult and uncomfortable moments, but pivotal discussions that are much needed at the same time. The thing I want to point to, however, has been the perseverance, the passion, and the resilience that I've seen from the student body. Uh, the optimism has, has truly inspired me each and every day of, of, of this term. And it is the sense of community and camaraderie and friendship that I think will propel us forward into a brighter future, whatever challenges come along the way. It has been the honor and the pleasure of a lifetime having served as your president. And I speak for the entire UWSA team when I say thank you for getting involved. Whether it was joining the board of directors or the executive, helping out at one of our service centers, or just expressing yourself on social media, your contribution and getting involved in the university experience and the student experience, that is the greatest input and contribution you can bring uh, to campus. Now the purpose of today is to acknowledge some of those successes and the hard work that's gone in over the past year to make it a successful year, to celebrate what we've accomplished over the past year, and to look forward to the future about what we could possibly accomplish moving forward. Uh, I want to thank all of you again for the year it's been and best of luck with all your endeavors. Sitting on any board of directors can be a very daunting task. Not only are you focused on the student perspective and voicing student concerns, but you also have to focus on the financial oversight of the organization, any legal risk that may come to the UWSA, and making sure that we are in a position to help the students of today and of tomorrow. I want to acknowledge two outstanding board members who, through their opportunities chairing committees or getting vocal in difficult discussions or ensuring that the UWSA is in a position to help those of today and tomorrow through professionalism and maturity, have really created a positive atmosphere at the UWSA Board of Directors and have put us in a great position for the next few years. This year, I want to congratulate and acknowledge Lyndon Crane and Emily Frazier as this year's Board Directors of the Year. Hi everyone, my name is Lyndon Crane. I'm a UWSA Senator wrapping up my final year in the position and also proud to have been this year's board chair. I'm very grateful to have received the Board Director of the Year Award. It really means a lot and I appreciate the support and confidence my fellow board members had in me this year. And I want to thank them for trusting me to lead our board meetings and also our very successful annual general meeting. This pandemic has definitely challenged us 
to rethink how our meetings take place and to find new ways to continue enhancing the student experience at the University of Windsor. I applaud my fellow teammates for continuing to work collectively in this virtual environment and remaining responsive as we work through various time-sensitive matters. Thank you UWSA for a terrific past two years and thank you for selecting me as the 2021 Board Director of the Year. I am so excited to be accepting the award for Board of Director of the Year. Um, this was voted on by all the Board of Directors, so I feel really lucky to be getting it. There were some really great people nominated. Uh, honestly, this past year with the Board has been one of a kind. I'm so lucky to have joined Senate this past year. I feel like we really have gotten so much done, and I know I wouldn't have been able to get what I said out there and what I did out there without knowing I had the Board behind me and that they would back anything I said or did, and I really appreciate appreciate the support I got this year. If you're looking for a way to get involved on campus, I cannot recommend UWSA more. You make so many connections with friends and with profs that will help you later on in the future, and it's a really great way to get impact and change done on campus. So thanks for this award. Have a great night, everyone. Hello, my name's Alana, and I'm the UWSA Food Pantry Coordinator, and I'll be presenting the Food Pantry Volunteer of the Year Award. This person has been super dedicated and hardworking from the beginning of the fall semester. They've always showed initiative to keeping the food pantry up and running. And they've also always showed compassion to the fellow volunteers and the students using the service. I am super grateful that they were able to be part of the team this year and I can't imagine the pantry without them. So the word goes to Patrick Lozon. Hey guys, my name is Patrick and I'm a second year mechanical engineering student here at the university. Volunteering at the food pantry was a great experience for me as I got to interact with a lot of the student body and help provide a service at the university that's so important to a lot of the students here. Volunteering at the food pantry also gave me a lot of perspective into how important food banks are in the city and I was just glad to be a part of it. I want to give a special thank you to the food pantry coordinator Alana for recognizing me for this award and for the UWSA for hosting. I also apologize if there was supposed to be a dress code for this video, my bad. All right, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the event. Cheers. Hi everyone, my name is Anand Arya and I'm the coordinator of the UWSA Campus Pride Center. I'm very happy to be here today to present the award for Campus Pride Center Volunteer of the Year to Dennis Agumon Drea. Dennis has been an invaluable member of our volunteer team this semester, helping with the research and writing of our blog and uh, working alongside Dennis and having an opportunity to see his positivity uh, but also his care for LGBTQ plus issues has been incredibly inspiring uh, and he's been a very hardworking member of our team. So I want to say thank you so much, Dennis, for the work you've done for Pride Center this semester and congratulations on winning this award. Hello, Lancers. My name is Bianca Koluka. I am the Peer Support Coordinator at the UWSA Peer Support Center. I had a really hard time picking just one volunteer this year. As some of you may know, I was new to the role and transitioning to an online format was more challenging than I have ever imagined. And because we have such great volunteers and they continue to be, you know, the pivotal backbone of our program, it's hard to pick just one. Um, our team leaders and our returning team members were just so instrumental in getting the center up and running and assisting myself while transitioning to this new role. So without further ado, the volunteer I have chosen for volunteer of the year is Emily Fraser. She has been just instrumental in getting the center up, running, um, always being there for more support and getting everyone engaged. Emily, congratulations. It feels amazing to be getting the award for Peer Support Center Volunteer of the Year. This is my third year with Peer Support and it's truly been one of the best parts of my university experience. I feel like I've made a small family that will support me for the rest of my life that I always know I can count on. And it's really been great in shaping who I am and helped me get through those really tough days on campus. If you are looking for help or a way to get involved on campus, I cannot recommend Peer Support Center more. There are so many resources available there that if you don't want to go to peer support directly, you can find other places to go in the community to help you out. We are here to tell you that you're not alone in whatever you're going through and that everything's going to be okay at the end of the day. So thank you everyone once again, and I hope everyone has a great night. Hi everyone, I'm Kashali, I'm the Women's Center Coordinator, and today I'll be presenting the award for the Women's Center Volunteer of the Year. 
For those of you that have been following us over the past year, the Women's Center events, social media campaigns, and outreach would not be possible without the dedication of our phenomenal volunteers. This individual in particular has been a dedicated member of the Women's Center and has gone above and beyond in her duties. She's been a part of our various events, Instagram lives, Instagram giveaways, and so much more, always willing to take on a new role to further help the service. She's been an incredible support since my first days coordinator, and I'm so thankful to have gotten to know such a wonderful volunteer and person. So congrats to our Women's Center Volunteer of the Year, Dana Sleeman. Thank you, Dana, for your dedication to helping make the Women's Center a better and more accessible service for the campus community. Hi, I just wanted to say thank you for this amazing award. I'm really excited that it came from a group that I care about a lot and have worked with a lot this year. Um, the Women's Center has definitely taught me a lot about, of course, women's issues, but more than that, skills that I can carry on throughout my university career and throughout my life. So thank you to Kashali, who's the head of the Women's Center, and also to my team, the advocacy team, and everyone else I worked with. This year has meant a lot, being able to work on something that was so meaningful continuously throughout the year. Um, also, thank you to the UWCA leaders and everyone who's a part of making this live, a live stream. Um, so I hope I can continue working with the Women's Center throughout my university career. Thank you very much. This next award is for the Coordinator of the Year. I had the pleasure this year of supporting and supervising a team of kind-hearted, caring, driven, creative, determined, and sincere individuals. When the service centers were transitioned for the first time into a virtual format, these coordinators pulled together and did a wonderful job in keeping our operations alive, our programming active, and our students well supported. There is, however, one individual that I want to recognize, especially for going above and beyond this year. Expanding the outreach of the Women's Center, overseeing 16 volunteers, bringing on speakers from around the world, uh, increasing access to hygiene products uh, for our local community, and helping establish a new scholarship are just a few of the things that she was able to accomplish this year. And this coordinator is Kashali Park. Thank you, Kashali, for your hard work and dedication to our Women's Center this year. Congratulations and best of luck for your next adventure. Thanks, Param. I'm so honored to be receiving this award. Being the Women's Center Coordinator has been such a rewarding experience and I've learned so much from this role. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to work with my team to continue to advocate for the fundamental rights of women. I also wanted to say thank you to Param for being such a great support and thank you to my team of amazing volunteers. Your dedication to the service has been truly inspirational and the Women's Center would not be able to function without your hard work. It's truly been a pleasure working with every single one of you. Thank you again, everyone, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Hello, everyone. My name is Fatima Layubi. I'm a fourth year accountant co-op student and this year's UWSA's Tax Clinic Administrator. This is our first year ever hosting a tax clinic alongside the CRA, and it could not have been done without the help of the volunteers who helped dedicate their time and effort to help make this possible. The first ever winner of the UWSA's Tax Clinic Volunteer of the Year Award is Rita Sayida. Congratulations, Rita. She met all her requirements such as taking initiative, being trustworthy, and having good communication skills. Again, I would like to thank everyone who helped make this possible, and another congratulations to Rita. Take care, everyone. Dear Yuvinza community, Working with you, Windsor Student Alliance, is always a pleasure and an opportunity. I'm Rita Sayeda, a Master's of Applied Economics and Policy student. I would like to thank UWSA for recognizing me as a volunteer for Tech Screening of the Year Award. It surely is a learning curve for a student like me who is always willing to learn and enhance his skills while volunteering. Thanks again, UWSA. The University of Windsor campus has over 150 recognized student groups through the UWSA alone. Sports clubs, philanthropic clubs, activist clubs, you name it, we've got it. So to start a new student group takes a lot of creativity to begin with. And to be successful as a new student group requires that much more. Through the Creative Student Group of the Year Award, we recognize a student group that was just that, creative the true meaning of the word. This year, we're recognizing a student group that was able to leverage their already existing community relationships and bring students together to practice or learn a true Canadian pastime free of charge to the students, skating. Congratulations to you, Skate, led by Aaliyah King, Doria Kub, and Kaken Hernandez for being the Creative Student Group of the Year through the UWSA. Congratulations. 
Hi everyone, I hope you are staying well and safe during this time. My name is Aaliyah King and I am the founder and president of U Skate Windsor, a club that provides free recreational ice skating sessions to the University of Windsor community. On behalf of U Skate Windsor, we would like to thank UWSA and all of you for nominating us to receive the Creative Club of the Year. We would also like to thank Central Park Athletics who donated all of the ice time to allow for us to make all of these sessions completely accessible to the University of Windsor community. As this year has been incredibly difficult, we are extremely proud to have been able to contribute to your mental and physical wellness in a safe manner. Our goal is to be a part of University of Windsor's community by bringing diverse individuals together to foster new skills. And we thank you for coming along with the journey with us and for allowing us to thrive. We hope to see you all at our future ice skating sessions. And for now, we wish you safety and good health. We thank you and are honored to be your Creative Club of the Year. It is quite trite to say at this point that the COVID-19 pandemic has brought on challenges to the way we do things. Student groups have not been exempted from these challenges. This year, the UWSA has introduced a new award called the Pandemic Resilient Student Group of the Year Award in recognition of a student group that despite what appeared to be insurmountable challenges, managed to achieve great success in the online environment. Congratulations to Relay for Life, led by co-chairs Carly Elder, Sarah Columbus, and an amazing team behind them, which raised over $18,000 for cancer research, building on a great track record of success. Despite everything that they were faced with, they were able to raise this money and then host an amazingly successful event, totally on Zoom. Congratulations, Relay for Life, for being this year's Pandemic Resilient Student Group of the Year. Congratulations. Hey Lancers, thank you everyone for your unending support. We couldn't have done it without you. Even though this year brought so many uncertainties, we felt confident that the university was cheering us on. There's no challenge too big that Lancers can't handle. Thank you so much. This is an amazing achievement. Thank you. Thank you so much. For our next category of awards, we'll be presenting the Student Choice Awards. The three awards are given out to full-time undergraduate students who were nominated by you. For our first award, we'd like to take the time to acknowledge the efforts of a student who has shown outstanding volunteer efforts not only in the UWSA, but also within the university community during the past year. As an executive of Relay for Life, volunteer in a lab, and a member of several other clubs, this student consistently applies her time within the University of Windsor community. As an active member of the community, this person volunteers at the Windsor Public Library, transitioned to betterness, and has more past volunteering experience. Overall, the winner of this award has been described by her peers as hardworking within and outside of the U Windsor community, all while balancing her personal and social life. I'd like to take the time to congratulate Gabrielle Wallach for winning the Dr. Dale Woodyward Student Volunteer Award for the 2020-21 year. Hi everyone, my name is Gabrielle. First, I'd like to thank everyone for being here to celebrate some incredible individuals in our community. And of course, thank you to the UWSA for organizing a way to recognize hardworking and dedicated students at our school. I'm filled with gratitude to have been nominated and selected to receive the Dr. Dale Woodyward Student Volunteer Award this year. Some things I've been involved in over the last year specifically include volunteering as a research assistant in Dr. Pandy's lab here on campus, the Relay for Life committee, students offering support, the pre-medical society, and a children's reading program through the Windsor Public Library. I'm also super excited to join the UWSA team as a senator this upcoming year. Volunteering has been a huge part of the last three years of my undergrad. These experiences have taught me to discover new passions and contribute to positive change in our community. Thank you again to the UWSA for organizing this ceremony and congratulations to the other award recipients. I look forward to the rest of the ceremony. Thanks. For our next award, we'll be recognizing the commitment of a student who has excelled in extracurricular activities and has shown leadership for the benefit of students at the University of Windsor. This student has been greatly involved in many student initiatives during his time at U Windsor, such as MedLife, Pre-Med Society, Blood Club, MSF, and much more. Within his nominations, his peers have reflected on his leadership at the Pre-Med Society. 
in which he was able to elevate the club into one that is a faculty-wide recognized organization. This person has grown pre-existing clubs while also creating new ones to improve student engagement. As a passionate and hard-working student, this person brings an enthusiasm to succeed in any situation he is put in, which has inspired his peers. In addition to being knowledgeable in many areas, this person is trusted by his colleagues to provide guidance. I'd like to congratulate Mohamed Abdulaziz for winning the Gold W Award of Excellence for the 2020-21 year. I wanted to offer my sincerest thanks to everyone who helped nominate me for the UWSA Gold W Award of Excellence. I'm honored that my work on campus has gained recognition from the student community and grateful to my wonderful colleagues, teammates, and friends for my experience. A special thanks to everyone that reached out to me with encouragement and support. You are the reason I won and I'm eternally grateful to all of you. This award marks the culmination of an amazing experience here at the University of Windsor and I'm glad I got to give back to our student body as much as they give back to me. Thank you so much again. For our last Student Choice Award, I'd like to commemorate the work of a student who has contributed unselfishly to the enhancement of campus life and exhibited the spirit of being an outstanding member of the University of Windsor community. This individual has been recognized for his role as a mentor to many students here at U Windsor, even to our prospective students. As a Welcome Week leader, he entered his university career with a determination to ensure a joyful welcome for incoming students by creating such a friendly environment. This student has also shown dedication in how they've been able to work their way up to taking on executive roles on Science Society, Pre-Med Society, SMRS and more, whether it be establishing the Student Opportunity Fund at Science Society, or improving degree audits and course suggestion forms at the BSSA. This person truly exhibits selflessness in helping others. I'd like to congratulate Mohammed Al Haqqani for winning the Ron Iani Student of the Year Award for the 2020-21 year. Hi everybody, thanks to the UWSA for hosting this live stream and a great award ceremony as always. Of course, it's a bit disappointing that I had to be online, but hopefully by next year the event can be back in person, but only time can tell. The UWSA's efforts definitely don't go unnoticed there and they're very much appreciated. I'm very honored to be receiving this award today. It's been a very tough year for everybody, myself included, so it was exciting to hear that I was considered and then later named the recipient of the award. Uh, I'm very thankful to all my nominators, to the UWSA for selecting me, and the campus community for making it a wonderful university environment that I love to be a part of. Of course, I'm very appreciative to be in the position to enhance campus life and for everybody that's helped me do so along the way. That being said, great job on the live stream, and I can't wait to see what my final year as an undergraduate has in store for myself and the campus community. Hi again, Lancers. My name is Lyndon Crane, and I'll be presenting the executive awards to our team. I'd like to start with acknowledging the contributions of Paramjot Singh, our Vice President Student Advocacy this year. Throughout his term, Paramjot has worked hard to ensure the UWSA is an equitable organization for students. By putting together and managing a team of strong service center coordinators, he's helped push the UWSA's mandate of hosting unique methods of advocacy-related programming. By working alongside community partners and other unions, Paramjot has advocated and lobbied for the betterment of students. During his time as Vice President of Student Advocacy, he provided key insight into new ways the UWSA can communicate support to Lancers in statements while uploading positive relationships with campus partners and community partners. Paramjot has proven to be someone who has shown qualities of being caring and driven. We thank you and congratulate Paramjot for his dedication to UWSA and proudly wish him success in his future endeavors. Thank you, Lyndon, for the ongoing support and for the kind words. Given the challenges of this year, this role has been incredibly rewarding for me and I'm happy to have grown through it and to have understood our university and academic landscapes much better. I had the opportunity this year to meet so many amazing students, campus partners, community partners, team members, and provincial and federal legislators. It was quite the year for advocacy this year and we saw that across our student body. The number of students needing academic support, um, advocacy, and accommodation remained steady throughout the year and a compassionate lens was certainly required um, uh, this year, especially. I want to thank the other execs, staff members, service coordinators, Ignite students, volunteers, and especially board members for their ongoing hard work and support this year. 
Thank you once again, and I'm wishing the best of luck to the incoming team on carrying out the UWSA's advocacy mandate again next year. Thank you. Now we'll be presenting our next executive award to our Vice President of Student Life, Jocelyn Dayal. During her term, Jocelyn dedicated herself to overcoming the hurdles put forward by the challenges of this year. Whether it be putting together hundreds of gift boxes for students and residents or giving away free pizza, Jocelyn has displayed dedication to giving students a fun university experience. Her commitment to keeping initiatives unique shows a capability to keep students involved even in a virtual setting through online programming open to all students. By working with community and campus partners, Jocelyn has shown enthusiasm for teamwork and collaboration by making sure to keep continuous programming for Lancers going. Jocelyn has also worked towards bringing awareness to important topics such as mental health through webinars and even events that are educational. We recognize and thank Jocelyn for her time livening up the student experience for Lancers in her role as Vice President of Student Life. I'd like to thank the students and UWSA who made this all possible. To say the least, this year has been a challenge. Putting together events in a virtual setting has become a large learning experience for me, as this has required me to think outside the box with initiatives. Ensuring we have a student experience that is enjoyable for all hasn't been easy, as blueprints from previous years have had to be modified in order to adapt to the current circumstances and in some cases, we've had to completely revamp certain events. When planning out events, I've learned to take on many perspectives, from thinking about not only what would be the most enjoyable, but also what would be the most safe for everyone. Despite the challenges of the pandemic, I've had an amazing year working alongside my fellow executives and UWSA staff members who have always encouraged me to put forward my best work. To the students, I thank you all for entrusting me with creating a welcome and enjoyable year. I look forward to what the future holds for the UWSA. For our next executive award, I'd like to acknowledge the contributions of Peter Braddock, who served as our Vice President of Finance and Operations this year. Peter has shown great skills this year in his passion for improving the services the UWSA can provide its students. By working to oversee the UWSA's health and dental plan, he has encouraged a wider range of facilities to Lancers. By putting together a tax clinic and working alongside the administrator to ensure this project successfully serves students, Peter has shown his guarantee to assist students where possible. Whether it be coordinating fundraising initiatives with student groups or working alongside the finance committee to better our scholarships to aid and celebrate our Lancers, Peter has portrayed diligence, attention to detail, and commitment during his time as VP Finance and Operations. We thank Peter for his years of service to the UWSA and look forward to the bright future that's ahead of him. It was truly an honor to have been entrusted the role and responsibilities of the Vice President for Finance and Operations of the UWSA. Thank you to every single person that I've interacted with over the past year. What an amazing journey it has been. This year was not the year anyone expected, but we were able to make the most of it. From introducing an income tax preparation clinic through the CRA so that eligible students can get their taxes done by a CRA trained volunteer, to improving health and dental coverage for students, including uh, increases to existing dental coverage and mental health coverage, to supporting our student groups transition to an online environment. It's truly been a pleasure and those are things I'll always be able to look back on. Although I'll continue to be involved in a lighter capacity over the next six months while we wait to elect a new VP in the fall, I look forward to working to pass on the reins to whomever that amazing person will be, and I look forward to making it as smooth as possible. Thank you, everyone. For the last executive award, and bringing us to our final award of the UWSA award ceremony, I'd like to take a moment to congratulate Herman Dayal for a successful year as UWSA president. As the chief executive officer of the UWSA, Herman dedicated himself to representing and serving the students to the best of his abilities. Herman's strong-willed passion for voicing the concerns of students and actively working towards change is what makes him stand out. By advocating for improved academic policies to aid students during these challenging times, Herman has shown himself to be one who cares about the success of others. During his time as president, he has set an example for many years to come. His ability to effectively communicate and remain hopeful during tough situations are a snapshot of the many leadership skills he shows. As we thank Herman for his term of never-ending commitments to students, he will be recalled as a leader who showed great compassion and respect for his co-workers, colleagues, and peers. Congratulations, Herman.
Thanks so much, Lyndon. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, I want to just reflect on the past year, really. Uh, I have been disappointed, stressed, frustrated, exhausted. Uh, every emotion and every action in between, but uh, above all, I've been inspired, really, by this executive team who has been there with me day in and day out. The support staff always there to work with the new executives that come in every year. The board being friendly as ever, sharing a laugh or two, and, uh, as well, honestly, just the broader community. Being able to listen to, to what you think you want to get done and, and how we can work towards a solution. Uh, I've been inspired because the, the student community here, we, we have something special at U Windsor. And so this this award is uh, is exactly what the person you all have made me. Uh, and I'm thankful from the bottom of my heart for everyone who has impacted me and everyone who has helped me uh, to this moment. I, I will never forget an opportunity like this. This brings us to the end of our UWC Awards live stream. I'd like to give a huge congratulations to all of our award winners and thank them for their contributions to the UWSA and the University of Windsor student community this year. It's the help of leaders and hard workers like you that keep the UWSA running and functioning the best it can. We look forward to all of the accomplishments you'll achieve in future endeavors. A shout out not only goes out to the award presenters of today who contributed to putting this together, but also to everyone who participated in sending in a nomination for these awards. I'd like to also extend a special thank you to the full-time staff at the UWSA who work behind the scenes to keep things running smoothly. Each of you play an important role in holding the UWSA together, and so we thank you for your patience, dedication, and hard work over the last year. As we prepare to welcome our incoming executive team at the UWSA, I'd like to extend a thank you to the students for allowing us the opportunity to serve you and do our best to make this year as enjoyable as possible. We're grateful for this last year, and I'm sure each of us are exiting our terms, having learned a lot from our roles. Thank you to all who tuned in, and I encourage you all to continue staying safe. We hope to see you all soon. Take care, and stay Golden Lancers.